Today I have a cleaning video for you, or I guess you'd say cleaning tips video. So today I will be sharing with you the three tidying techniques that I use in my home. Hey you guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. We hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission. So I do cleaning videos on this channel, but I will tell you that I do not like to clean. I don't like to tidy, but those are things I have to do. I'm one of those type people that clutter gives me anxiety. It makes it to where I can't breathe and I cannot rest. Like on my days off, I cannot rest and watch TV and relax if my house is complete chaos. That's just how I am. I know some people are not like that, but for me, even if I'm not motivated and my house is a mess, I have to find some kind of energy to get up and get everything kind of tidy in order for my brain to let me rest. So there are three ways that I take care of tidying in my house. Now I have two kids, Kate and Derek. Kate is 10, about to be 11, and Derek is six, about to be seven. So both of them are required to help us with the tidying process. And they complain sometimes, especially Derek, but it is a group effort to get the house straightened up because a lot of the times the messes are not mine or my husband's, they're Derek and Kate's. So there are three ways that we will tackle tidying in our home. So the first tidying technique is by room. So we will say, okay, everybody drop what you're doing, go to the kitchen and we're all gonna pick up the kitchen. So once the kitchen is picked up, then we'll move to the living room. Once the living room is picked up, we will move to the bedrooms. And when it comes to the bedrooms, it's not, hey, we're all gonna tackle one room. It's Kate has to go and pick up her room. Derek has to go and pick up his room. And then my husband and I will pick up our bedroom. So everybody is in charge of their own room, but the common areas, the office, the kitchen, in the living room, we all tackle together. So if you're able to do one room at a time, that helps tremendously or it helps us tremendously because if you're thinking about it and you've got a kitchen that's a wreck, if you've got four people tackling that area, it should get done in no time. So that is the first technique that we use is by room. The second way that we will tidy up is the five minute pickup. Sometimes it's the 10 minute pickup. It just depends, but we will set a timer and it's like a race. Who can get everything picked up first? And the kids absolutely love the fact that we set a timer, it's five minutes, we're all racing through the house trying to pick up anything and everything that we see. And we make it like a little competition so the kids like it. So when you set that timer, it like tells them, okay, we've got to get this done in five minutes. I mean, they are all on board for it. I don't know if it's the timer or if it's the competition part of it and they're trying to beat each other who can pick up the most things, but the five minute pickup is very successful in our home. Last but not least, it's probably one of the most common ones that we use and it is the one that I use every single day, even if I'm not motivated. I will be sitting down and I'm like, okay, I've got to stop. I need to go pick up five items and put them up. So I call it the five item pickup. So I will stop what I'm doing. I will count one, two, three, four, five. And then I can stop for a little bit. Then I'll say, okay, it's time to pick up five more items. And by the time I've done this a few times, I'm motivated to tackle more than five items. 
and those five items will make a huge difference and it really motivates me y'all i use this every single day like i will have people say i don't know how you're motivated on saturdays to get things done a lot of times i'm not but I will have the technique in my head, the five item pickup. So I will go to one room and I'll start counting one. And then it, it may be that I'm picking up clothes, putting them in the laundry basket. And then out on the way to the laundry basket, I see item number two. So I pick up item number two to go put up. But it seriously helps me because I'm not motivated. But you guys, five items is not a lot. So I'm like, okay, I can do five items. And the next thing I know, I've given myself motivation and I'm motivated to get my butt up and pick up. And if I'm not, the five items, if I do five items, take a break. Five items, take a break. Next thing I know, my house is pretty much picked up. And we will do this with the kids as well. So if we come home from a long day, you know, it's a day where we both worked and then Kate had cheer and Derek had Taekwondo, we may say, pause five items go pick up five items and put them up and so if i do five derek does five kate does five and nathan does five that's 20 items right there so the five items add up to a lot so that is probably my number one tidying technique is the five item pickup and so those are the three tidying techniques that we use in our home the first one is by room the second one is setting the five minute timer. And the third way is the five item pickup. Those are the three ways that we tidy in our home, no matter if it's Saturday or Sunday or during a school day. So in the comments below, I want to hear some of your tidying techniques. So let's get all that conversation going in the comments below. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time. Bye you guys.